Good day everyone and welcome to Smart Health from BSE TV Mathematics. So for this video, I will discuss the divisibility rules for the number 2 to 13. So first, what is divisibility rules? Divisibility rules is a shorthand way of determining whether a given integer is divisible by a fixed divisor without performing the actual division, usually by examining its digits. So Martin Gardner explained and popularized this rules in his September 1962, Mathematical Games, column in Scientific American. A number is divisible by 2 if its last digit is even. Example, 48. It is divisible by 2, right? Because 8 is the last digit is even number. On the other hand, 47 is not divisible by 2 because the last digit here is 7, is add number. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. So remember, when we say sum, it's addition. So for example, 768. So 7 plus 6 plus 8, the sum of this digit is 21 which clearly is divisible by 3. So 768 is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. For example, 5,236. It is divisible by 4, right? Because the last two digits is 36. On the other hand, 4,618 is not divisible by 4 because, as you can see, 18, the last two digits, and it's not divisible by 4. The number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or number 5. Example, 235. It's divisible by 5 because the last digit here is 5. Example number 2, 140. It's also divisible by 5 because the last digit here is 0. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by 2 and it is divisible by 3. Example, 168. So 1 plus 6 plus 8, the sum of this digit is 15, which clearly is divisible by 3. So the last digit is 8, and as you know, 8 is even number, which is divisible by 2. A number to be divisible by 7, the last digit times 2, then we subtract it from remaining digits if the result is 0 or a number divisible by 7, it is correct. Example, 483. So the last digit here is 3. So let's move 3 then times it into 2. Like I said earlier, a number to be divisible by 7, the last digit times 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, then 48 minus 6 is 42. And as we know, 42 is divisible by 7. Another example, 63. So let's move let's move 3. So 3 times 2 is 6. So 6 minus 6 is 0. And 0 is divisible by 7. A number is divisible by 8 if the last 3 digits are divisibility or divisible by 8. Example, 47,152. The last digit here is 152, which is divisible by 8. A number is divisible by 9 if all digits added recursively give the answer as 9. Example, 43,254. So let's add all the digits. 
4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 18. So 1 plus 8 is 9. So like I said earlier, if all digits added recursively give the answer is 9. So 43,254 is divisible by 9. A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. Example, 428 is not divisible by 10 because the last digit is 8. On the other hand, 540 is divisible by 10 because the last digit here is 0. A number to be divisible by 11 if the alternating sum of its digit is either 0 or divisible by 11. Example, 14,344 is divisible by 11 because the alternating sum digit in this case is 1 minus 4 plus 3 minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0 is divisible by 11. On the other hand, 42,639 is not divisible by 11 because the alternating the sum of its digit, which is 15, is not divisible by 11. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by 3 and it is divisible by 4. Example, 3,625. So, 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 15. It is divisible by 3. So, this example is divisible by 4 as well because the last two digits is 24. A number is divisible by 13 if, if subtracting 9 times the last digit from the rest of the number gives an integer that is divisible by 13. Example, 923. So the last digit here is 3. So let's move 3. So 3 times 9 is 27. So 92 minus 27 is 65. And, 20, and 65 is divisible by 13. Example number 2. 637 so let's move 7 so 7 times 9 is 63 so 63 minus 63 is 0 and 0 is divisible by 13 on the other hand 1982 so the last digit here is 2 so let's move 2 and 2 times 9 is 18 so 198 minus 18 is equal to 180 or 180 and 180 is not divisible by 30. So that's all. Thank you and God bless everyone.